Today I want to look at a particular voice on the S80 and see what it's made up of and how you can adjust it. The particular voice I'm looking at is the piano string voice which is from the preset bank and it's number A7. Now each voice is made up of up to four elements and there are 553 elements to choose from which make up all the sounds on the S80. So let's go into the edit mode by pressing the edit key and make sure that the part element control is fully anti-clockwise and also the page control is fully anti-clockwise as well. This is the screen where you would normally just adjust the name of the particular voice but I want to concentrate on the elements which are over this side. If you rotate the part element control to the next screen you can then see the four elements with number one underlined. So we've selected number one and you can select the others by just further rotating the control to two, three and four. So if you go back to number one, you can see that number one happens to be number 152, which is a small ensemble string section. Uh, number two is an ensemble mix. And number three is a grand piano and number four is the same grand piano. So the four elements are two grand pianos and two different types of string. Unfortunately, the S18 manual is about as much use as a brick, but uh, let's forget that for the time being and concentrate back on these elements. Now, if you rotate the page control to the next screen, you get the level, which is the overall volume of each of the four parts. And you can see that uh, one of the grand pianos is slightly louder than the other, and the strings are slightly quieter than the pianos. If you rotate to the next page you can see that the pianos are panned centrally and the strings are panned right and left. So one of the strings appears only in the left speaker and the other one only in the right speaker. And You can adjust that pan with this control here. So all four elements of the voice sound like this and they're represented on these four control sliders. So if we just wanted to home in on the pianos, which we know are on elements three and four, we could fade down control slider one and two and just listen to the piano sound. Or if we just wanted to listen to the strings, we could fade up one and two and fade down three and four. Now, ideally, you only want to work on one element at a time. So if you turn two off and we've only got element one showing now, we can listen to the strings ensemble mix, which are panned over to the left. But there is another way. We can leave the sliders where they are and turn off the elements by hitting the appropriate uh, yes, no keys. They're actually opposite to what you think they are. So yes turns the particular element off. And in this case gives an asterisk where the element was. So you would select element four, turn it off by pressing the yes key. And now because you've only got elements one and two showing, it should be just the strings. So what else can we do with this element? Well, we can change the voice completely with control knob C and select one of the 553 waves. Uh, loads of stuff there and we can select voice number zero which is the same as turning the element off indicated by a dash. So if we reselect the strings 152 uh, you can get near to the selection and then use the yes no keys as a fine tune. Selecting the next page by rotating the page control we've seen we can adjust the level and the pan and one more takes you to the note range, so which keys actually activate the voice. This is C minus two to G8, which is the full keyboard range. And there are further things that you can play around with to your heart's content. 
if you rotate the part element control fully counterclockwise again, uh, you get to the common menu. The elements are still there, but this applies to all four elements. So this is like a master volume and a pan control and reverb. And there are various other things that you can play with on a sort of global level. When you finished editing, you might want to save the voice. So you would rotate the part element control fully counterclockwise. Name the voice using this control, which selects the position and these two, which select the character. So you go through that and then you would hit store, enter after deciding where you want it sent to and then press yes. So there it is, playing around with the voices and elements on the SAT keyboard.